My name is Bill Wayne. I'm the General Manager and Chief Operating Officer of the Society of International Gas Tanker and Terminal Operators. This is the industry association which represents the interests of LNG and LPG ship operators and terminal operators. The key operational objectives for an LNG operator is to provide a safe and reliable service to their customer. The safety record of the LNG industry has been almost, I think, without comparison in commercial industry. And it is extremely important and valuable to the operators in the industry. The safety record arises from a lot of care and attention being paid to design and operation of the ships and to maintenance of the ships. And it is, in effect, our license to operate. It's also interesting to note in the industry that we have ships operating for more than 35 years and delivering the high standard of service required and safety to the same level as the first day they entered into service. So this speaks volumes for the way these ships have been looked after over their life and does, but does also put into context the absolutely essential nature of planning the maintenance of these ships on a long term. And I think one of the most important issues to ensure the longevity of the vessels is the maintenance of the hull structure. Certainly from studies being done over the years in various projects, you can afford very high replacement costs of machinery and equipment on ships and justify them. But if the hull structure is allowed to deteriorate, that can render the repairs economically unattractive. So it is the basic requirement if you're going to get longevity is you must keep the hull structure in good condition. And I think one of the key factors when we are talking in this area is the fact that ships generally rust from the inside out, typically the ballast tanks. And so therefore, where you've really got to plan your effort and concentrate your, your commitment is on the maintenance of the ballast tank coatings. A lot of this then comes back to the original specification for the ship. That needs to be right. You need to have a high quality painting system and a very good diligent inspection team to ensure that the painting is applied up to the specification requirements. And this starts right at the beginning of the project. If this is not done right at the start, maybe because of e economic pressures, a lower specification system, the reality is in these long-term contracts that you may find yourself part of the way through facing a major repair exercise of shot blasting and coating the ballast tanks in the ship. And that is a very high cost item, not only in terms of the actual mechanical costs associated with it, but the loss of hires, this operation may take several months, can really be very significant and alter the economics of the whole project. So the key message is, get it right first time. The whole industry is actually set up around long-term contracts and the owners need to understand that and that there is a long-term commitment to being in this business. And the main risk to the industry of people who take a short-term view is that we don't meet the safety and reliability expectations of our customers. And you know, like any other industry, we have to be customer focused. So we must recognize that absolute requirement from the utility companies, the receivers of the cargo, that the long-term reliability and safety is, is essential, it's not negotiable. To achieve the long-term levels of reliability and safety, maintenance is a key element it also goes back to the initial quality in the ship. If you have a long-term contract, it's false economy not to put in good corrosion protection systems, for instance, because halfway through, you will lose out if you have to take the ship out of service for extensive blasting and recoating operations. So it's absolutely vital that we get this maintenance right, and this is understood throughout the industry right from the beginning. You cannot think about maintenance a few years down the line. You must get your maintenance programs correct right from when the ship goes into service.